So this project is going to be really interesting. We're going to make an Atari 8-bit computer talk using the Speak Jedi C, the ESP8266, and a MySQL database. If that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned. Alright, so this project actually goes back in time a little bit. When I was in high school in the 1980s, I was supposed to design a circuit to make my Atari 800 computer talk. I got to choose the project. Before I got to do the project, I got in a motorcycle accident. I missed out on the entire circuit design competition and everything. So while I was thinking about projects to work on, it dawned on me this would be a fun one to go back and do. That's why I'm using the Atari 800XL. I am, I've written some assembly language that bit bangs um, ASCII to the ESP8266. If you've not seen the video on bit banging, you should. It talks about how you calculate the timings for instructions and how you implement in software serial communications if a UART isn't available. So in this scenario, on the Atari, the user types in the word hello. That gets sent a 9600 baud to the ESP8266. I'm using a D1 Mini and it has a Wi-Fi interface. That D1 Mini is connected to MySQL, a MySQL database that I have at home and that I have previously loaded all of the words, the dictionary, the allophones for the SpeakJet. You can download this from the SpeakJet website. So I loaded them into a MySQL database. So when the ESP8266 gets the word hello, it issues a select statement against the MySQL database. And if it can find the word, in this case it does, it gets back all of the allophones to, to send to the speak jet so it'll speak. Allophones are all the parts of speech. Um, normally a word uh, has multiple sounds, parts of it, and by putting all of those sounds together you make the speech. So in the case of the word hello, it actually returns H-E, fast, E-H-L-L, -E low, and O-W-W-W. And these are sounds and they're also speeds. They're commands that are sent to the speak jet. So these are the byte codes that are actually sent. And if you were to look at the user manual for the, for the speak jet IC, you would see where these um, byte codes exist. So the ESP now sends those byte codes at 9600 baud over to the speak jet, which then says the, basically says these allophones with the timings specified and out comes the word hello. And I will show you that. This is just a small amplifier I built um, just so that I could have a volume on it. It's nothing complicated or anything. So with that, let's go take a look at the database and take a look at the source code. The vendor actually provides this dictionary file of all of these words along with the allophone codes and I actually implemented this two ways, as you'll see in the ESP8266 code. I actually created a data structure initially, and then I decided to put it into a SQL database. I thought putting it in a SQL database would be cooler because both, you know, we have to make a connection to it through the ESP8266, which I had never done. So I thought that would be really cool to do. And um, also, we could add words to it as we, as, as we wanted the vocabulary to grow. So I wrote some Python code that took this as input and then uh, output some insert statements that can be then inserted into a database. So if we go over and take a look at the database, we will see that the SQL database has two tables. Here's the SpeakJet database and it has two tables, allophone and dictionary. If we go in and look at the allophone data, uh, you'll actually see where it has, there's a primary key, which is just this uh, automatically generated ID. Then we have the byte codes. This is what gets sent to the SpeakJet to actually make it work. This is the allophone value, and this is, these are examples, how long it takes, etc. These are just additional pieces of information. And if we go to the dictionary, we'll see where all those words are and in order, 
what the allophones are to say the word. So to say about, you start off with this UX sound, O, B, A, A, Y, W, W, T, T. So there's a join that takes place. So if we want to take the word hello, we run this select statement with a join and it returns to us the byte codes that we need to send to the speak jet to have it actually say the words hello. And that's pretty much all there is to this. The parsing was, you know, some, some level of effort, but the real work is actually going to be in the ASP 8266. So let's take a look at that code now. Okay. So this is the ESP8266 code. If we look, we've got a dictionary here. This was generated through some Python code I wrote. I'll put it up on the GitHub repo uh, with this project. I decided not to implement it in memory. Instead, I decided to use a SQL database. So there's a reference to this library. I thought about implementing stemming, but I decided not to. I just didn't have enough time. Uh, some includes, we're both using uh, this built-in serial uh, software, uh, the built-in serial connection, as the UART, as well as a software serial. Uh, that way we can output some stuff to the debugging monitor. Uh, here, username, passwords, uh, server ID, name of the database. Um, this is somewhat interesting. I'm using two GPIO pins on the ESP. And one of them is to re receive data from the Atari 800, and one is to write to the SpeakJet. So both of those are communicating at 9600 bytes, so I can use the exact same um, software serial library. We've got a buffer set up here uh, to read in the words. Um, as it's reading the words, it's looking for certain tokens, such as a carriage return or space. And then that denotes the end of that word, so it can do the lookup. In the setup, we just make some connections to the Wi-Fi. We set up our serial. Um, yep. And then we drop into the loop. And in the loop, we basically monitor for input from the Atari computer. We parse out, determine where the break is going to be. Then we've got a word. Then we go and look up the word. And if we have found the word, we then send the proper byte codes to the uh, SpeakJet IC to speak those words. And that's pretty much it. Inside the MySQL lookup, we pass it a word. We also pass it a buffer. So it'll store the bytecodes for us that are the part of the result set. You can see the select statement here uh, with that join that I showed you uh, in the SQL um, example when, when we were looking at the database. So here's everything you need to basically make queries from, from an ESP8266 to a SQL, MySQL database or compatible MySQL database. So that's pretty much all there is. So you can use this even if you're not interested in speech synthesizers. You just want to use your ESP to talk to a database. Um, you can certainly use this as, uh, you know, some framework code to get you started. So now let's go over and actually see this thing talk. We'll type in some words and listen to it. All right, so we've got the serial monitor up. We've also got the Atari on the right-hand side. And what you see here in the serial monitor, the ESP is basically telling us it's connected to my Wi-Fi. It's waiting for data from the Atari, and it's also connected to the SQL database. So it's basically just waiting on the Atari. The Atari screen, as you can see, it's in DDT right now. And I'm going to go ahead and tell it to start running at address 4000, which is where I wrote the code. And now it's waiting for us to type something in. So hopefully you could hear it speak hello. You can see on the serial monitor here that it shows you the SQL that it wrote and also shows you the allophone byte codes that it um, sent to the SpeakJet. Um, you can type in longer things. Hello from Atari. Hello from Atari. And you can see how it parses it out. Uh, um, you know, looks up each word and actually sends it to the chip. I actually added the word Atari to the dictionary in the SQL database because it didn't know what Atari was. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, at the very least, you know, this was a very interesting project. I solved a problem I should have solved a long time ago if I hadn't gotten in a motorcycle accident. 
So, as always, remember, uh, learn something new every day, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.